All right. Sorry about the the interruption to the broadcast there. I uh, overclocked the PC a little too much without having the automatic voltage compensation on, and I believe I pushed it beyond uh, what was okay for the setting. Um, I think with the tweaks I made, it should be okay now. So hopefully. That won't happen again. Um, so I've got the game restarted here and uh, continuing on where it was. Luckily, it had auto saved, uh, which was good. Um, and I found the bell um, when he auto gives it to you there. Um, it just automatically goes right into the slot, so. Um, if you're using a PC, uh, all you gotta do is hit your middle mouse button and you get the little dingle dingle. So, we'll take off here. start using the Witcher senses back here. Okay, there we go. Examine this way, I think. Circus. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny, it makes you go around that tree, because, uh, I don't like that. This way, I think. Ah, too far. Notice when you use your Witcher senses, little key-shaped objects appear up on the right-hand side. Hey, I hear it. I'll see him. I hear him. This way, I think. Good. There you are. Come on, 
Let's go see the Peller. So you gotta ring the bell to get it to come? Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, take you back to the Peller. Misses you something awful. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. I'm just running along and every now and then... Where the hell did you go? For that bell. Shit. Guess I didn't hit it enough. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Do I really gotta go all the way back? Oh, jeez. It stopped to eat. Bear. Oh, shit. Bear. Big Run. bear. deep set cave go. Ah, man, and I got the... Alright, I'm gonna have to come back to this, because I don't want to mess up uh, the deal with Princess, so I will come back to the cave by the bear. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? if you're running when you ring the bell. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. <laughs> you got that all-important quality every roach has to have. Alright. Here we go. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Alright. of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? So... Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella. And so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Hmm. What kind of living being? Fine. Be right back. I got a feeling something's gonna happen there. No? Will this do? Eh, yeah. at least you didn't have to go on a side quest to go get a damn rat. So that's why he needed the goat. So that he could pour milk around himself. Yet did not die. 
Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant. She was. And she miscarried. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. The Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens <laughs> need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. <clears throat> what happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. Oh, oh, oh. So it's a wolf. zombie baby? Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't tell. Fuck! It is a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. What the fuck? So it's a zombie baby that sucks pregnant women and eats fetuses. What the Heard fuck? Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. So now it's back to the Baron to find out where the dead zombie baby grave is. What the fuck? Hundred experience points. And that updated a lot of quests. Let's look at the bestiary entry for botchlings. They're a cursed one. Alright, so I've got cursed oil. That's good. Oh, look. It even looks like a baby. Oh, man. That's fucking creepy. Cursed oil and Axie. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. <laughs> That's funny. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. Oh. Their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Oh boy. Bet a Planned Parenthood is glad those things don't exist, huh?
Uh, give me just a moment here. I want to. Let's see. Uh, try some. See if it smooths out uh, gameplay at all. Yeah, surprisingly, uh, the game seems less jerky when I'm not overclocking the CPU. Which is weird, because the temperature is okay in either case. Alright. But, you know, I want to talk White to this wolf. guy. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Yay, finally get access to show Could me your wares. Show so me now that have. he's unlocked, we can see what he's got as a merchant. That lesser glyph of Quen seems to be pretty common. I'm not going to waste money getting that. He's got draconid leather. That's good to know for the future. What's this? Formula for Negretto. I don't know what that is, but... I'm gonna get one. Oh, why would I need two? Manuscript page for the northern wind. Formula for crafting a bomb that. Oh, that'll be good. No, not buying two. Damn, 248. That's an expensive fucking bomb. Water essence. You know, that stuff is kind of a pain to try and find. I got four of them. I think I needed more. Wine stones, I got a ton of those. Lunar shards. You know, it was, it was kind of funny, I was watching another uh, Twitch broadcaster's uh, Witcher series. And, um, <clears throat> he was like level 12? found a wine stone and said that was the first he'd ever found and that was weird because uh, my guy was level four and I'd already found half a dozen um, I think I think he was kind of going more along the main storyline though and me I was like wandering off and uh, going into every little dungeon every little delve and everything I could find and hunting around for these stray chests and uh, seemed like I was finding a lot more loot. Like that one cave I entered into, there's a video for here, where um, I went in and I found uh, the entire level 27 full set of Ursine uh, Superior Witcher gear. Um, I hadn't heard about anybody else finding that yet. Uh, let's see here. There was some stuff I was needing. I don't think it's Ranagrin. Maybe it is Ranagrin. and grass that's the only one that's got that picture and that's a picture that it was I'm gonna buy some of those um, I think I'll buy about six of those that ought to give me what I was needing and let's see what I got that he'll be willing to buy get rid of some stuff nothing off alchemy useful you know I've been saving all these books just cause I don't know for sure if I'm gonna need them or if I can frickin sell them I've, I've read them all I'm not sure if I can actually afford to get rid of them or not I'm kind of afraid of selling one and then finding out there's some quest update in one that didn't register even though I've read it. Um, uh, he won't 
buy any of that stuff. So. Alright, well, looks like that's everything that we need off him. Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting, peace must be made. But they must then wait for forefathers' eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead, drive the spirit off the Pelican. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you what? would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. Why is he asking about a love potion? So long. Okay, so what, he's like wanting to make Yennefer fall in love with him or some junk? That's not very cool, man. You don't do it by love potions. Alright. So then, our next quest update, I'm betting it, yep, is back there. Now before I do that, I'm gonna go back to that bear cave. I don't know what the hell that was, but that's the kind of thing I do where I tend to find a bunch of loot that other people don't find. I want a deer. Oh, you know what? I want to check that alchemy. Lesser blue mutagen. You know what? Let's craft those just to get more the uh, end. And Negretto. What am I missing? White gall. You know, yeah, I can make white gall. I just need cherry cordial and mandrake cordial. Oh boy. Alright. What else we got here? Bombs. They got allspice. So, what's that bomb do? Freezes foes, blows landed on frozen foes, deal additional damage. So it's a bomb that freezes them all. Interesting. Beast oil. 10% attack power versus beasts. Insectoid oil. Yeah, see, that's what I needed that for. I needed that to make insectoid oil. And now I can make enhanced, because I found the enhanced insectoid oil earlier um, in a, another cave. I'm not sure if I was broadcasting when that happened. Um, but the enhanced, you can see the regular one gives you 10% attack power. Enhanced gives you 25%, even better. So we're going to make that. So if I got to come up against any of those, we can get them. Beast oil. So that dog tallow is pretty important. Huh? You need that for all these oils. But I got so much of that, there's no reason. No reason to waste time. Oil, enhanced cursed oil, what am I missing? An Ekamara hide. Hmm. Haven't seen one of those anywhere. I can make enhanced cat and that's that water essence. I haven't had any reason to use it yet. An immunity to hypnosis. Hmm. That may be useful in the future, but for now I'm going to save my ingredients because I don't really know what's coming up yet. So while we're here, 
I'm going to go ahead and get my cursed oil on my blade. And there's a little drop that lets you know there's some oil on your blade. Those only work on your silver blade, not your your other one. Uh, beast oil will probably work on your regular sword. Um, that's what I thought. I figured I had another point available to me. And Igni sign. Oh yeah, now I can do a continuous stream of fire. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. To cast a sign in its alternative mode, hold Q. Okay, so instead of just hitting Q, you hold it. So... If I just hit Q, I'm gonna go, oh, that's the wrong sign. Get that. But if I hold it, hey, I'm holding it. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, I'm holding it, and it's not working. Did I read that wrong? Um, it is the right sign, right? Igni sign, Igni, alternate sign mode. Uh, emits a continuous stream, and it said, hold Q. Well, I did. I don't know, maybe, maybe it only works in a fight. Alright. I gotta pause one moment here to uh, get my son in bed. And I'm gonna put up the brake sign for just a moment, so feel free to grab a coffee, and I will be right back. sign comes down back to the game and you know what I'm gonna save this real quick why can't I save my game right now it must be auto saving all right I'm gonna save this just in case I get into trouble in that game in the game remember frequent saves are your friend
the fuck? They're above or flying around? What the hell? They gotta be above the cave. Oh look, there's stuff down in there. Let's see what we find. An Ursine Steel Sword. Master crafted. Nice. Let's check that out. Save. We should save right now. Ben. Quiet. Alright, let's see. My son is giving me heck to save because he was in here the other night when I was fighting that Wiverine on the uh, tower and I had went and gotten all this cool loot and these nice awesome recipes and then uh, this kind of game bug type thing happened and uh, made me get killed and it turned out it hadn't saved after I got that so I had to it took probably about 30 minutes of, you know, uh, messing with it to do it again. Uh, okay, now, see, that said Master Crafted Earth Sign Sword, right? I thought it was a silver, but I guess it's a, I guess it's a steel sword. Oh, wow, that's a, that's got a pretty nice graphic there. So, what do I need? I need to make the Ursine's superior steel sword. And then... I can make the Master Crafted. Shit, I thought I had the recipe for that. I guess it's it, it's only the Ursine armor that I had. Let's see, let's collapse that. Yeah, I got I got the Ursine armor, so apparently there is a superior uh, swords too. Well, son of a bitch. So I got a nice, awesome recipe for a master-crafted sword. But, you know, I, I can't use it to level 30 anyways. That's going to be a long ways off, so I got a long time to uh, find that. It'd be cool if you could use it if... If you didn't have to be a certain level to use certain things about that. Oh, right. Right. Oh, the other thing I wanted to check was that <laughs> this Greater Chernobog runestone. Zero attack power. What the hell is the point of that? I find duplicated. So a lesser gives zero and a greater gives zero. What? So what's the point? Well... I'm assuming that's a game bug that they're going to fix, so for now, I will uh, hold on to them and wait and see what happens after they fix it. So I guess, <clears throat> since I killed the bear, this is all just loot, so we'll uh, run around the edge here. Dad. Oh shoot! Come on. Oh, I have a. I'm not gonna. It's my boss. I need more. 
No, nothing there. I noticed that that mini map changed because uh, there was. It did give a layout of the cave. Now it doesn't. Well, looks like that's it. Big ass circle, Aaron. Ain't nothing there. That's one thing I don't like is that when he jumps up, that torch drops every time. to the cave. I already killed the bear though, so it like should be grayed out. There ain't nothing else in there. has a name. It's Roach. <laughs> yeah, like cockroach. Kind of weird, huh? Oh, stay out of the water. <clears throat> wow, that's that is really pretty. You know, the graphics in this game are just gorgeous. Barbara, I don't think it changes his hair color. I think Barbara just changes his haircut. Good. Oh, I guess that's where the horse races are down there. Uh oh, the town is on fire.
to be quiet and go to sleep. Seen him. Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Looks like rain. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Not to know about your day. They ran from you, didn't they? Best fight for the Baron. Saved the horses in the stable and then I whooped him. Sit down. Shut up and go to sleep. You beat them. 
I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna... The little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. 
My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your city. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think uh, if that happened in real life, that'd probably be about most people's reaction. <laughs> what? Benjamin, I am trying to scream. You gotta shut up and go to sleep. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it might finally rest in peace. Um... Dude... The kid's already dead. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? 
It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna need that uh, mind sign thing if I can remember which one is. Oh, nasty man. Oh. That's pretty gross. Back to the fortress. Alright, which sign? This one. Axie. What? This? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends to change it into a lubricant. Oh, oh fuck. Keep in mind, you need that mind you want control to sign. Me? Nothing. This is your job. I told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. The tale are true by tomorrow. It'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Oh, that's a creepy thought. From now on, it's gonna watch over your house. You got the dead baby creature thing buried at your threshold, which I'm guessing means like the doorway. Oh shit. No oh, more fucking ghosts. You dirty. Oh, with it. Where'd it go? Come on. Is that all? It seems like you gotta do it twice each time to get it to work. Chosen name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's, it's a go. Hold on a moment, I gotta back down the uh, CPU. I gotta get that cooler on here, and then I won't have a issue at all. Seems that action and all the stuff going off makes Made the CPU jump up in temperature. Oh man, that thing is what now? Repeat after me. By the powers of Earth and sky. Of earth and sky. 
by the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a leperkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Hmm. Where am I? About halfway through level 7. So, summon the lubberkin where the botchling is buried. How do I do that? <clears throat> Just meditate for meditate for twenty four hours. Maybe try that. I'm meditating for 24 hours. Hmm. Looks like it won't let me. quite let me meditate 24 hours. Oh hell, could I have just walked out and done that? Oh. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Yeah. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. I feel like I'm chasing that little green glob out of Ghostbusters. <laughs> the Glomer. Got that arse's whip like you know. Whatever the hell his name was. I don't know what the hell. 
is chasing me, but I'm gonna follow this thing. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Dragon. Why the hell are in dragons? I got cursed oil on my sword, not. It's Casper the freaking baby ghost. Notice that when those things blow up, I'm taking damage. Right? Get, get, oh, go away. Gosh, I don't need these either. Oh, go away. Shit. Better get a potion. I won't, it won't let me frickin' loot. 
and I can't examine anything. I guess because of that last one right there. What now? Oh, roll away. What the fuck? Is there another one? No. Oh, Alright. Thank God. You know, I'm surprised it didn't say anything about a new entry in the bestiary because I hadn't uh, encountered those things before. What do we have here? have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Wolf King. Maybe more werewolves. What now, you piece of filth? I don't want to stop and fight every little stupid thing along the way. Just follow Casper the... the Slimer, that's what I'm thinking of. Friggin' following Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> Kinda looks like Slimer, don't he? Just needs to be a brighter green. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Oh, here they are. Maybe. Who's that? In the room. Go home now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. We're looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though any words better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high and still hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. The fuck? Uh, 
fiery marks. What marks? They, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. <clears throat> that altar in the basement of the building must have been her messing around praying to whatever the hell that fire god thing is fine what happened next grew even darker seemed someone had put out the stars crickets all went silent of a sudden and then from the woods a roar broke out in a cold sweat and before I could catch my breath a beast jumped out of the woods big as a barn with Horns and two burning coals for eyes. That's not a werewolf. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. Twas the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the debt? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. That's yeah, true. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. All right, well, looks like we're off to the woods to Thanks find a help. burning monster with lady, flaming eyes. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Well, looks like that's that part. Let's see if they got anything around the loot. <laughs> There's always loot. Hey, that's that's a new book. Tucson to Duchy. So far, I, have, I mean, some of these books will put entries. Um, I'm not real sure if any of them have actually made map markers or anything, but I know a lot of documents do, so <clears throat> I always make sure to read them all. Let's see, anything else around there? Another empty bottle. Seems to be a lot of empty bottles. Pearl. That was a good find. Another pearl. In there, man. Thought he said he was poor. Poor, but he's got all kinds of pearls. man I don't care if it's supposed to be like a good lubricant thing now or what man it still fucking looks nasty look at that man 300 points off that uh, jumped me up a good bit so where's this thing at now where do I gotta go oh I gotta go back to bear now Hmm. I don't know what those things are. 
don't really want to get sidetracked yet. I'd like to just continue on the Family Matters quest, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's call Cockroach. What the, what the hell? You coming from behind the damn house? What are you doing? Um. Hmm. is going two different directions so I can either go to Oxenfort or I can go back to talk to the Baron well I'm gonna go back to talk to the Baron because I'm pretty sure he's gonna tell me that he wants take off to go find Anna, and then we get to fight the flame minotaur eye thing, whatever the hell it is. be some quest here at a later time. Slower. Nah, I'm not gonna get the jump off just to get that. Mm. I don't know if I'll be able to <clears throat> just run up there or not. I noticed running on this horse when he gets to like that cliff edge thing, he won't just run off. Uh, the horse will actually automatically turn and run along the cliff side rather than to fall down it. I'm assuming that's built into the fear component with the horse, but it's kind of neat that in an RPG or an MMO that they designed it at all that, you know, the. Uh, mount has got enough AI to realize, you know, when it's about to do something that's uh, potentially harmful to it. Uh oh, shit. still ain't fucking working. If I just hit it, that's that. And if I hold it, the the alternate ability is not working. That's a uh, tutorial. Da 
doesn't say anything about it. Oh, is it because I don't have it slotted? I bet that's it. I bet it's because I don't have it slotted. Um, oh gosh. That increases my vitality by 500. I don't want to... I don't want to turn that off. You know what? Let's scoot this over there and then take this and put that there. Okay, yeah, that's what happened. I forgot to slot the ability. So, now let's try. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. All right, oh, so it's locked. Draw my what? weapon. What the hell are you? Oh, this is that guy. What the fuck? Why is he doing out here? Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Oh, Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> to honor May Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Well, then you'll now, die. Draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in arm left after you. All right, fine. Let's go. At your service. Let's get this over with. No, I will. <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> Two hits yes. and you quit. Look still with you. But the next time we meet. Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. <coughs> and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yeah. Yes. We shall see. Alright, that was kind of weird quest out in the middle of nothing there. I mean, the guy's just standing out in the middle of a whole bunch of huts and wants to challenge me to get his ass kicked. Well, you know, if you want an ass kicking, I'll oblige you. running up there so let's get cockroach the fuck is cockroach <laughs> fuck horse where you at okay had to do it again I haven't checked my stuff out in a while. It probably needs to be repaired. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Oh, uh, let's see. I already bought those. <coughs> uh, let's see. My shit need repaired. Yeah. Um, repair all.
Kind of weird it says you can... Dismantle these books and stuff. Get rid of some of the stuff. He doesn't want to buy. I'm not giving him my crafting ingredients. I still haven't found out the Tamarian Lily Key. I think that that was for that earlier quest, and uh, it doesn't automatically remove. But hang on, to, hang on to it just in case. Let's see, crafting. I thought, I thought this guy was a weapon maker. What? Oh. I thought, I thought he was a weapon maker, not a. Check and see if there's any of this stuff worth getting that I'll be able to use. Can gain eight armor, but you lose all those resistances or abilities. Bounty hunters, gambus, and that that'd be good. Could have him make the bounty hunter's gambeson. Now, when I ding, I could put it on. Crafting components, I'm not going to worry about right now. Assassin's gauntlets. Too little. Not worth it. <coughs> Those would be nice when I can finally wear them at level 20. Trousers. Gain three armor, but lose all that. I think I'd rather have the percentages. Well, it looks like the only thing worth having to make is this. I'll get that made now and then just hold on to it. I thought that guy was supposed to be a... So long. I was thinking he was a weapon maker. I'd run into a couple on here, but... Quite a few. Oh look, there's an armor's table and a grindstone there. I didn't even uh, realize we're around the other side. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, yeah, I'm grateful. 20 crowns. Thank you. Beg evil spares us at least. Get that, use the armor's table. You got 15 minute buffs now for both. I'm I'm here, 
Listen, I swear! Yes, it was dropped. Let the order attack the merchants then. Stealing the goods and blinding those poor bastards. Baron Savage. Now, I'll have them stick a hot poker in your eyes. No! Oh, come on, can Please. I, uh... I'm begging! Can I intervene what? here? What is it, great boy? What I'm gonna kick your ass, that's what. You hear the sergeant took a lashing from the Baron. Oh! Fuck. Please! I'm begging! Well, he doesn't the... seem to want to let me do anything. Apparently he's in the garden. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Looks like uh, he's reading old letters she wrote him during the war. We're calling better times, I guess. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And then, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms will please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting no, for? Wait, that's not true. You to tell me about Siri. Like we agreed. Fine. But 
word once given. That's not true. You know that Anna got taken off into the woods. Hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, what, you gotta play Siri again? Oh, that lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltis' feasts. But he's still among the living. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. <laughs> oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. I'm gonna grab a bag of chips before I answer that question. I'll be right back. Tell them K more and they're gonna know. Or do we stay on the road? Yeah, I don't think anybody will believe on the road, so we'll tell them. At Care Morhen? Witcher school there, are you? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. <laughs> Nobody cares about your backside. <laughs> a woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Don't. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Hmm. I hope it don't make me race. I don't want to race. It's gonna make me race. I'd rather just watch the race. Man, it's amazing the skin texture. They Ready? Got. As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! This gonna make us do it? Come it sure on, is. silly! Don't you embarrass us! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like him! Oh, shit. 
Oh shit. That'll be the day. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. What play Gwent? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut him down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home. With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over, and Nilfgaard victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Mm, let's play around to Gwent with them. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Unexpected for that to pop up, so maybe Let's it'll let him win. Down. Hmm.
that some cards can be put in any deck. So, my Nilfgaard deck is getting a lot more cards. These little two cards and stuff, I don't think you can do much with them because anytime you play the computer AI, it's pulling out crap that's like 5 to 10, even 20. Oh, what the hell did it do? I clicked the card and it auto... Man, I wouldn't have fucking done that. I got two little one cards. God damn it. I'm gonna have to play them again. What the fuck did you do that for? Shit, but he's got eight fucking cards. If I pass, he can just play and play. Fudge bucket. You know what? I'm gonna pass. I think he can just like play and play cards. Now see, that shit ain't fair. He should play one goddamn card. God damn it. How does he get to keep more cards? And see, now I only got three cards. There's no way I can win this shit. He's got five, I got two. I mean, what the fuck? There, there's no way I can win.
Fucking seriously? He's got two of those? Ain't nothing else I can do. I lose a draw. That sucks. You're not complete, shite. But you really should work on your technique. Stop by again sometime. We'll play another round. Joe. Sure. So that's to find his wife. So both of them <clears throat> find Tamara. And the other one... That's not the one that I told it to track. Oh, where the fuck is the other one? Where's the other one? Damn, that looks like a huge city down there. Where the hell's the other one at? They're not both there. Right. Okay. Oh, freaking A. Well, bring out the gimp. Oh. <clears throat> God damn it, how the fuck do I get out of here? 